you cannot talk to me. If I have these on, you cannot talk to me. These are cute. Tell me what you see in me. Gotta be something different. You must be made for me. Patience is never thin. I just watched this woman run over a curb in her Lamborghini and she had no response on her face and I can't wait till I'm that rich. <laughs> Good morning y'all, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm currently at the gym, I'm sitting in the car because I'm trying to drink this um, Alani Kimmade drink, energy drink, before I go in. I noticed that if I drink my energy drinks before the gym, I'm not like tired after like usually if I don't drink an energy drink before the gym I'll go to the gym I'll go home shower and then I'll take a nap since I've been drinking these before no nap throughout the day no nap needed so I think that's what I needed to do was just drink my energy drinks in the morning instead of drinking them in the afternoon because then whenever I would drink them in the afternoon I'd be awake all night so we're not doing that anymore but I'm just gonna drink this and then I'm going in to do my workout if you can't tell I've really been loving going to the gym lately this gym is so good for me the only thing i don't like about it is it's so dark in there which i know someone commented on my last vlog like i love this the lighting in there like <laughs> the neon lights or whatever yeah neon lights in a gym are really cool when it's nighttime but literally during the day it's black in there like it's dark in there as well so that kind of bothers me because i would love to have like a workout where I'm getting like sunlight or at least like some sort of form of light in the room while I'm doing my workout versus it just being dark and it's so dark in there you guys so that's my only issue with this gym I'm thinking I might switch because there's another gym that I've gone to um that's in our area that I liked we'll see how long I keep it up here Adam pays for my membership so for now it's not really much to worry about my life doesn't have a lot of worries in it lately okay my man really helps with that he really helps you know de-stress my life shout out to him with that being said I hope you have an amazing week I hope your week is full of blessings full of positivity good news if you wanted a new job I hope you get it if you are trying to have a better relationship with your family I hope you do it if you're wanting to go out make more friends go for it you know I hope you really truly push yourself this week my elevation era series will be coming out soon I might film a video of one of those today but I'm so excited to help y'all get your life together like I'm doing mine I think the really cool thing about my elevation era series will be that I'm currently still elevating my life like every day I'm going to be elevating my life it's not like a one-off thing like you consistently are doing your best to elevate in life and I've been helping out Christiana if y'all remember Christiana she's my hairstylist from back when we uh, lived at our old house and then she's also my friend like we became friends because we would always hang out she was always doing my hair and then we started hanging out outside of her doing my hair but I've been helping her through her elevation era and y'all she's already said that she's seen so much change and it's only been a week so I think the fact that I went and did my own life like helped myself elevate my own life then I went and helped a friend I think I could run this fucking app I'm not even kidding I think I could kill it on here if I started releasing my elevation era series for y'all like I could really make some change in the world with these videos and that makes me really excited because even when she texts me saying like she's doing this now when she's got a night routine and a morning routine and she's waking up earlier and she's eating better and she feels better and she's working out every day like that makes me so happy to know like my words actually have effect on someone's life and a positive one at that so stay tuned because that series is coming i've made like a list on my phone of all the videos i want to film and i've even like some of them are fully like written out so i know what i'm going to say so i don't miss out on anything or leave anything out so stay tuned but i'm so excited for y'all to see that new series um but yeah hope you guys are having a great day make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't joined already oh yeah that too we changed the youtube name y'all it's no longer we're no longer the chan fam we had our like family name on here on my channel the chan fam for the longest time it's been 
in a long run y'all right but i was starting to feel like chan fam didn't really resemble my life anymore i feel like chan fam was a name i gave to you guys my supporters when it was just me on this channel do you know what i mean but it's been a long time coming since it's been just me i've had crew for the last four years i've been with adam for the last two so i felt like we needed something to kind of show that growth as well like you know if y'all have been here for a long time you know my youtube channel name started off being lush barbie imagine if i was still called lush barbie <laughs> on this channel like eventually it's time to make changes in your life to become your better version of yourself and so yeah with that being said i feel like we're blurry i don't know if we're actually all focused y'all but i'm too tired to tell um but yeah with that being said i asked you guys to vote on my instagram like in our instagram group chat that we have if you're not in that go join it just go on my instagram and go on my like page and you should see like underneath my name it says like broadcast channel or something like that um go click on that and join the family on instagram because i chat to y'all over there like i let y'all know when videos have dropped i let y'all know certain updates in my life like it's really a cool place to be and then i also have like a, a subscribers only chat where y'all can talk back to me and we be having some deep conversations over on that channel as well so go join those two broadcast channels but like I was saying, I had y'all vote on a new name, and y'all voted on the AKC family. Obviously, the A stands for Adam, the K stands for crew, and the C stands for me. So, that's what y'all are now. Y'all are now the AKC family. I think it's a cute name. I love it. To be fair, y'all, I thought y'all were going to vote the crew, and I kind of liked the crew. We had the crew on Raising Crew channel um, previously, and I thought the crew was kind of cool. Like, what's up, crew? But then I guess that's kind of weird that I'm saying what's up crew to y'all, but then crew's probably going to go talk to him. Yeah, I get it. Okay, I'm with y'all. AKC family probably fits a lot better. But yeah, it's a lot of changes been going on lately, right? Yeah, I love y'all. I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into our long ass week. Cheers. I'm home. It's actually hours later, y'all. I did not film at the gym because there was a way too many people in there and i was just nervous <laughs> i was sweating today y'all i started a new workout plan from micah my cousin who's a personal trainer back in la she also does like personal um workout plans for you through like like she'll plan it out for you and then she'll send it to you if you live in like in a different state or country in my case so she sent me mine and i just started it today and it kicked my ass but like in a good way i felt great came home showered got myself ready look at the fit these jeans are so freaking cute let me show y'all can you see them fully like they're so cute such a vibe and then i paired it with this top that adam got me for christmas it's like cream colored and then i was wearing my um converse to go pick up crew from school but yeah after i got out of the shower i cleaned my room like made my bed ate some breakfast i had yogurt and granola and then literally before i knew it it was time to go pick up crew so he's downstairs eating lunch right now but yeah he had a good day at school he said he did amazing when i picked him up he was making dinosaur like play-doh and he didn't want he didn't want to go y'all i waited like 10 minutes for him to be like okay i'm ready now so he had a good day but yeah i feel so like productive today it feels great i think life is just so much easier when your house is clean and you have like a routine that you're actually staying on track with so i feel great i feel good yeah now that we're home it's probably gonna be like another 30 minutes before it's time to pick up adam from work so i'm just going to probably watch a little bit of tv or read my book i'm now reading this book everything i know about love by dolly Alderton. This is the next one on my list. I'm gonna read this or watch TV. I'm not quite sure yet. And then just chill with the crew downstairs. I literally just put my camera down, pick it right back up because why is Adam texting me that he's ready for me to pick him up when I just got home from picking crew up? I literally ask him every time, are you going to be ready by the time I pick crew up to come get you after? And he's like, no, I still gotta hit a gym session before I before I leave. Bruh, I've been home for two minutes. I'm gonna hurt him. Let's go, Romy. Adam is home. He's been home for a few hours. It's now like five-ish o'clock. Um, and the boys are at the park. And I'm about to meet up with them to take Romy on a walk. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. Oh. oh. Threw on my little puffer coat. What is this called? it's so british <laughs> like it's so long or like i feel like someone in new york would wear a jacket like this and it of course has all my makeup 
on it. I need to clean it. But um, yeah, I brought taken for a walk. And then when I come home, I'm making tacos for dinner. Adam already went to the store and got like everything we needed for it. So I'm gonna make tacos when we get home. But y'all tell me why I totally forgot yesterday was Sunday. Like I didn't realize it was Sunday. And we forgot to watch Baddies and the reunion is out right now, right? Okay, so like last week was part one of the reunion, part two's out and we haven't watched it. So Tacos and Baddies reunion is gonna hit tonight. It's gonna hit. So I'm gonna hopefully come home, cook right away, get it done. And then we can sit down and watch it. And Adam doesn't even remember. I literally didn't bring it up to him. So I'm gonna tell him once I go see him outside. I don't know how I let this man convince me to go on a walk with him. And he led us into the fucking forest. <laughs> He led us into a forest. My Uggs are getting muddy. Romy, gone. And we somehow found a river. And if my dog jumps into this river and gets taken by the water because Lord knows he's too tiny to fight a drift. To fight a, is that what it's called? A drift? A tide? <laughs> I'm gonna have to fight somebody. We're by the river, man. Jump across. No, I dare you to. You dare me? Yeah, I dare you. you. <laughs> I dare you. It looks like crew's leaving us. <laughs> the river is pretty though. Babe, I think that's the trail. I'm saying I think that's the trail that people <laughs> You lose your shoe. <laughs> That's the trail that people take, not this way. Where, where you, you took us through the woods, man. That's the trail that what? That people take to get down here. From where? It just goes around there. I'm saying you took us to the woods. Yeah, man. Adventure, innit? Look at my boots, y'all. Come on now. You're yeah. lucky Romy needs a bath, so now he'll finally get one. Yeah, cool. Crew needs a bath too. You need a bath too. <laughs> what is that then? Is this like a little, little dam? That's a dam. We're back home. Y'all, I didn't realize my hair is making me look like Hagrid. It's definitely giving Hagrid vibes. <laughs> He's going in the bin after today. Not now, Harry. <laughs> we finished our walk. Come on. Romy's muddy. I'm muddy. Cruise muddy. We took our shoes off. Hey, everybody right? muddy. Yeah, everybody's muddy. But I'm gonna go give Romy a bath and Adam is gonna handle the cruister. And then I'm gonna start dinner. I thought you didn't like cruiser. I don't. I don't know why I said it. I'm gonna say <laughs> cruiser. <laughs> yeah, I, my sister Tyler used to call crew cruister and she knew it irritated me because he it sounds like you're calling him a rooster. And I was like, why are you calling him that? His nickname is Cruzy or Cruiser. But Cruister? No. I got Adam a little gift. A little token of my appreciation, so he's gonna open it right now. What could it be? Ah, oh, the um, the pen. Yeah, that you paid for. <laughs> Did I say thanks? It was a joke. <laughs> you bought that, babe. You just forgot you bought it. <laughs> Very true. So I was taking credit. Ah, oh, thank myself. He needs a stylus for his iPad, so we just got one off Amazon. What does this do? We all oh. got to wash Romy. Oh, it's both ends. Yeah, so this is like the soft end when you just want to like scroll. Uh -huh. And that's like the writing one. Oh, let's, let's get it cracking. Time to wash the pup. Time to wash the pup. Are you ready to be washed? Oh, in our last house, I washed Romy in our kitchen sink. But this house has a... What is it called? A... Yeah, a shower. I know it's called a shower. Thank you eavesdropper no not a shower is not the word i was looking for it has a what is that called babe the little handle thing huh? a shower head it has like a reachable shower head so i'm gonna actually shower him on the floor here in our shower room is that what it's called a shower room um just because it's gonna be a lot easier than the sink Why you in the bath? no because i have to clean that entire bath because he's been in it the shower is a lot easier to clean Babe, yeah. What do I do here? What do you do with what? This pen. Right on your iPad. Like the shopping. Sorry. Oh. Is that put? Oops. 
Yeah, that's what I've done. Oh, you're supposed to keep that on there. You are? Yeah. So you're supposed to write. Yeah, it stays on there. It writes like that. You will only use that bit to not scratch your screen. Come on, Mommy. He doesn't freeze to death because he's so tiny. Back up on my bullshit, back up on the scene. Done dealing with you, don't know how to deal with me. Done fucking with you, don't know how to love me. Done dealing with you, so I'm It seems like I get so much, I don't get nothing. I've been needing to get that done. It's been on my planner for the last week and a half, so I finally got it done. Um, and now I can go make some dinner. You need to put it back. Oh yeah, thank you. I need to put his collar back on. What did you do today while I was at school? Oh, what did I do today while I was at school? Yes. Why do you want? Why you want to hear about my day? Yes. Why? I want to. Okay. Well, after you went to school, I dropped Adam off at work, and then I went to the gym for a little bit. I came home and took a shower and got ready, got dressed, did my hair. Why did you got dressed? So I was ready for my day. Oh, to, and then they dropped me off. Did they got me? I mean, picked you up? Yeah. Yeah, I picked you up. And then, what else did you do? Watched a little bit of TV, went on a walk with you. Mommy, you know TV is boring, but, but I know not boring, I play a bit of those games. TV's boring? Yeah. But not boring. I play a video game. Not as boring games. as playing video games. Yeah. Which one's more boring, video games or TV? Video games are not boring. Oh, it's not boring. Video games, but TV is boring. But oh, gotcha. Mom. What? Mommy, do you put mommy in the shower? Then he, then you bring him a bath. Mm-hmm. He's nice and clean now. He won't dig when he was in the bath. I know, because he was wet. Because then I saw all the black fur inside his other fur. All the black fur inside his other fur? Yeah. No, his fur just looks black when it's wet. It changes colors when it's wet. It changes colors? Yeah. Bro, that's your cool for a start. <laughs> dinner Good. is ready. The lighting is not letting y'all know what we're eating for dinner one. There we go. Y'all can see better now. We're having tacos. Okay, why does it not want to... It's green. This is green. I don't know what's up with the lighting. But we're having some tacos for dinner. Cute little spread. This is what it looks like with the lights off. A vibe. A nice little vibe. Why do you have the blanket? Uh-uh. No blanket. No blanket. Not at the table. Because you're about to get food all over my blanket. No thank you. Then go put on some clothes. Mommy, turn the, turn the, the heat, heat is on. Off. The heat is on. That's how I know you're not cold. Prayers. Prayers. Who's leading prayers tonight? Crew's ten tonight. Let's go. Hands together, eyes closed. Go ahead, crew. Thank you for watching over me. Thank you for me to have a night fighting day. I that for you to get to me. This black. Thank you for this food. I would do the prayer oh. for birthday first. Okay. And food. you what you owe me, wife. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Good job. Amen. Let's eat. Is that your mom? What do you mean, is that my mom? Did you know? I lost my phone. Did I got my finger under what's on the couch. You, you think it was that? on the couch? Yes. 
I have to look when we get back home. When did you even go in the car? When you want my mommy went out dad with me. Yeah, I guess when I was making dinner. I don't know. Phone's lost. I have this one, but it has no data. Um, only like works when I have Wi-Fi. So I'll just use this when I'm home, but I just won't have any Wi-Fi. We're going to the library. We're about to drop Adam off at work. Me and Kurt are gonna go grab some McDonald's for me and then head to the library. You thought there's gonna be a police there, huh? <laughs> there's gonna be a police at the library. No, he thought there was gonna be a police on the street. So he didn't want to speed. But um, anyways, yeah, we're gonna go to the library so Crew can get some new books because we've read all of the books he got last time. Good job, Crew. I don't want to read the dinosaur book. Oh my gosh. You can get a new dinosaur book. Okay, but that's but the dinosaur one that she watches that takes on the dinosaur. Maybe there are, you don't know that. Have a good day with me. You're gonna have a good day. No, he said you're gonna have a good day with him. Yeah. Yes, you go to have a good day at football, and I go to have a good day at the library. Uh huh. That's what I'm talking about. We just got to McDonald's. I'm waiting for my food, but why did I realize on my way here, like something felt off? Like something felt like we were supposed to do something today, and I couldn't remember what it was. And then I realized, what is today, crew? It's picture day at school, y'all, and I totally forgot. Luckily, it's going on from, they said, 8 a.m. until 1 p.m., and it's only 10 a.m. right now, so I'm going to go home, change his outfit, because he just got on, like, chill clothes for the library, change his outfit into something cute for the pictures, and then we'll head over there, do his pictures, and then but, we'll head over to the library real quick. But my mom and like this outfit. I like that outfit too, but that outfit's for the library. We need outfit, like a nice top for your pictures. How about this jacket? No, that jacket's not going to match. I want to put like a cream color on you. I think that'll look nice. But that won't match the superhero they bought. The superheroes are not going to be in the photo, sir. Are you sure I, can take I said you could take them with you. I didn't say they could be in the pictures. No, sir. I just hold them. I put them on my back. No, bag. sir. I will hold them. But, Mommy, you I said what I said. I don't know why you're arguing with me. Got it? <laughs> she got a picture that I'm not all fun about picture day. Okay. She don't want me to go to the library. No. Like I said, we're going to go do his pictures. We're going to go home, change his outfit, go do the pictures, and then we're going to head to the library. That's it. Period. Conversation over. O-V-A. Cool? No. Cool? No. What did I say? Cool. We made it home, then made it to change his outfit, made it to school. We took his photos, and it was all right. I feel like he could have done better, right, crew? Yeah. So at first, he did not want to smile. He was being difficult, but then in the end, we got there, and we got the photos, and he looked really cute. And she even said, you should put him into modeling. I've been taking pictures of myself on, on my phone. You like taking pictures of yourself? Yes, on my app, or maybe just on my phone. Yeah, selfies. You're really good at those. So we're going to go in this library, get crew some new books. I was going to vlog in the library, but one, I realized that that might be a safety issue. Like, if people know what library we go to, especially because we do come here often now. Two, um, I'm carrying way too much stuff. Excuse me. I'm carrying too much stuff. I'm carrying Cruz books back in, his book box. And then I'm also taking my laptop and iPad in so I can do some work while Crew looks for new books. So just know we're about to go to the library. I'll show y'all what books we get when we get home. Sleepy. No, no, no. <laughs> Last time I spoke to you, I think I said I was taking crew to the library where right? we had just finished his pictures. We got to the library and then Adam texted me. I need you to pick me up. We finished early. I'm like, oh my goodness. Y'all, if you see this man on the side of a milk carton, it was me. It was me. Because seriously. Like really, we literally got like walked into the library. I sat down and then he texted me, can you come get me now? We're done, finished early. So we went and got him. And then as we were leaving though, the librarian, I think that's what they're called there, 
um or like i don't know if she's a librarian or just like an employee but she was telling us that they had like a playtime thing today coming up if we wanted to do it like we could stay and do the playtime for the kids and i was like okay cool well i'm gonna go uh pick Adam up and then we'll come back and so that's what I did I went in picked Adam up dropped him off at home and then me and crew went back to the library and we got all of our books and then we also did like the play time and it was fun he like I mean it wasn't really fun he played by himself like he literally did not want to be bothered by the other kids he went in there talking about I don't like babies I don't like these kids and I was like oh my gosh you're embarrassing me but eventually I was able to like calm him down and then I was playing like with these trains with him and then he just wanted to play by himself so I literally just sat at a computer desk in the library and like was using my planner I, I brought my um iPad with me so I just went on my iPad like on my planner and was like figuring out my life while he just played with toys the whole time and yeah it was fun it was cool it was easy now we're home I <laughs> I'm trying to edit right I'm trying to edit this vlog so I can stay on top of my my editing and my vlogging and my posting but I'm currently <laughs> sidetracked by this woman if you know you know i'm trying to figure out who the fuck did she marry because who the fuck did she marry i want to know i'm on part 16 and in total there are 50 videos part 50 is the last part of the video and i'm only on part 16 <laughs> So I'm really just sitting here trying to figure out who the fuck is she marry? This is like my new like podcast. I feel like it's a podcast. I'm like sitting here just listening. I turned it all the way up. I'm like doing, I'm still editing, mind you, but I'm like sidetracked a little bit because I'm listening to her story and not really. If there's any mess ups in this vlog when I post it, just know it's because I was distracted and I was watching this. And yeah, the boys are downstairs. I think me and crew had lunch on our way to the library. I stopped at the gas station and got us, um, sandwiches chips drinks and then I also got him chocolate for doing his pictures earlier today and that's what we had on our way to the library so by the time we got to the library he already had lunch so now I think they're downstairs either eating snacks or doing something I don't know what they're doing I'm not going down there because I'm off crew duty right now because I need to get work done so I know as soon as I go down there it's mommy 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 so I'm like eh, let me just stay up here I'm not going to be nosy and figure out what they're doing but they're doing something down there I just keep hearing the doors open and close on the cabinets i do want to show you the books we got from the library but they're downstairs as well and i'm not i'm not stepping into that territory right now so i might have to show you all either later tonight or tomorrow but i will show you the books we got let me get back to editing <laughs> editing my phone's even about to die ah! the boys just left to go to the grocery store to get some stuff for dinner i'm gonna have tacos we had tacos last night i'm gonna have tacos again tonight because we had leftovers but Adam wanted pasta, so he went to go get some stuff to make pasta. But since they're gone, I can show y'all the books that we got and come downstairs. Also, Adam came upstairs and he was like, by the way, I organized the cabinets downstairs. So that's what all the sound was. The, when I told y'all I was hearing, this is literally what I was hearing. I was here and I was wondering what was all the noise but I was like no I'm not gonna go down there but yeah he organized the cabinets and I just looked he actually organized the cabinets like I know he said it but I didn't expect it to actually look organized y'all and I'm gonna show you after but let this be oh they're back oh fuck <laughs> let this be your warning yeah that when my Elevation Era series drops, watch it. Watch it. If you're someone watching my vlogs and you're like, oh, I want to live a life like that. I want my, my spice cabinet to look organized like this. I want my house to be clean. I want to wake up early like you. I want to go to the gym every day like you. I didn't know we just do this stuff, right? Watch my Elevation Era series because I'm going to show you how to do it. And he's adapted to this lifestyle as well now. So, what's going on? How was your trip? Yeah, yeah. Are you guys going to the park? Babe, the cabinets look so good. Yeah, like you really did your big one. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> Why you guys got yogurt? Yeah, please, 
Romy, stop working. For me, not for you. For me, not for you. Ha ha, not for you, but just for me. Ha ha, you're rude. Baby, take a sour cream. Yeah. Oh. Ha ha, you got a big one, but strawberry flavor. Is it strawberry flavor? Ha ha, you got a That's the best flavor. I have that with that. What, you want some apple juice? Yeah. <coughs> you have apple juice on the stairs. Uh-uh. So you can oh. finish. Adam. Yeah, I'm about to show um, the people at home what books we got. So after I show them what books we got, then you can have them. I'll make sure to put them in your room because you're going to the park right now. So let me show you all the books he got so I can go back upstairs to editing. But we got Oliver, Harry and the Bucket Full of Dinosaurs, Rhino Corn Rules, Jumble Bum, The Monster Who Loves Mess, Little One, There's a Spider in this book, Dinosaurs Love Underpants, Peppa at the Aquarium, Fuss on the Bus, The Dinosaurs Who Loved Applause. So those are all the books we got for crew. And then I also had some books on hold because our library does like this really cool thing where you can like place a book on hold and it will grab the book if they don't have it in our library but there's like it's available at another library like you know in a different city or area it can grab the book from that library have it shipped over to them and then they'll put it on hold for you and so i think that's so cool i've never like any of the libraries i've ever been to i've never known that to happen like usually you just have to wait for whoever checked the book out to bring it back but no, I should read. I'm going to read you guys. I don't know if this is going to be boring or not. If so, just skip forward. But I'm going to read you the back of these books to tell you what it's about. And then if you're interested, you can go pick up the book, order it on Amazon or go to your library, whatever. But okay, so this one's called Falling. And it says on the back, I'm not going to crash this plane and you're not going to kill my family. You just boarded a flight to New York. There are 143 other passengers on board. What you don't know is that 30 minutes before the flight, your pilot's family was kidnapped. For his family to live, everyone on your plane must die. Ooh, this is interesting. The only way the family will survive is if the pilot follows his orders and crashes the plane. Enjoy the flight. That's crazy. I might want to read this book after Adam. I feel like this is going to be the one he wants to read the most. Harry Soto is back. Harry Soto is the greatest player the world has ever seen. But six years after her last match, she watches a young British tennis player steal her world record. And Carrie knows she has to go back and reclaim her rightful place at the top. Even if the world doesn't believe in her, even if it almost breaks her, this is a story about the cost of greatness and the burden of fame. The fight for a place in history is about to begin. I heard that like the tennis matches in this are like really good. Like it makes you feel like you're there. So that's why I got that one. And then this is Pines. Secret Service agent Ethan Burke arrives in Wayward Pines, Idaho with a clear mission, locate and recover two federal agents who went missing in the bucolic town one month earlier. But within minutes of his arrival, Ethan is involved in a violent accident. He comes to in a hospital with no ID, no cell phone, and no briefcase. The medical staff seems friendly enough, but something feels off. As the days pass, Ethan's investigation into the disappearance of his colleagues turns up more questions than answers. Why can't he get any phone calls through to his wife and son in the outside world? Why doesn't anyone believe he is who he says he is? And what is the purpose of the electrified fences surrounding the town? Are they meant to keep the residents in or something else out? Each step closer to the truth takes Ethan further from the world he thought he knew, from the man he thought he was, until he must face a horrifying fact. He may never get out of Wayward Pines alive. This one sounds interesting as well. Ooh, I picked some good ones. And then we've got The Silent Patient. Alicia Berenson lived a seemingly perfect life until one day, six years ago, when she shot her husband in the head five times. Since then, she hasn't spoken a single word. It's time to find out why. Okay. And the last book is Hidden Pictures. Mallory is delighted to have a new job looking after gorgeous five-year-old Teddy. She's been sober for a year and a half, and she's sure her new nannying role in the affluent suburbs will keep her on the straight and narrow. That is, until Teddy starts to draw disturbing pictures of his imaginary friend Anya. It is quite clear to Mallory and to Teddy's parents, even in his crude childlike style, that the woman Teddy is drawing in his pictures is dead. Teddy's crayons are confiscated and his paper locked away, but the drawings somehow keep coming, telling a frightening story of a woman murdered, and they're getting more sophisticated. But if Teddy isn't drawing the pictures anymore, who is? And what are they trying to tell Mallory about her new home? Oh, hell no. So, no, I got on the floor. Wait, take your shoes off. What happened? No, I got 
No, nah, man, you got what? I got, I got wet on the slide. Yeah, you got wet on the slide. I could have told you that. It was just raining. Come on now, guys. So yeah, those are all the books I got. Look at the cabinets that he organized. This is like our junk cabinet, I would say. Not really junk, but it's like storage cabinet. So it's got like cruise plates and stuff down here. Our like tumblers, our containers for packaging food away. These are like our table spread bowls and stuff for like when I do charcuterie and stuff like that in dinner but yeah it just looks so nice good job baby and he also did this one with our pans and our appliances in there proud of you babe is that you in your elevation era <laughs> good morning everyone it is Wednesday I can't recall where I left vlogging yesterday but I know I was watching the Who the Fuck Did I Marry series and I finished it, y'all. Like, I literally finished it at night. It took so long to finish. Someone calculated that if you watched that series and you watched every single episode, you would have spent seven, almost eight hours watching it. Now, I watched it in half the, the time because I sped it up every time I'd watch it. Like, I put it in the 2x speed. So I only spent about four hours watching it. But that is crazy that I really just sat there and watched it for four hours. Do you know what I mean? So it was a really good. Highly recommend if you haven't watched it yet. Um, I think it was a perfect example of what could potentially happen to you if you decide to ignore red flags. Like... I feel like a lot of people needed to hear that you know what i mean but yeah we're heading to the gym i'm wearing this body body yaddy 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 this like body suit isn't she cute from fashion nova and then i've got this little bolero i think is what it's called on top that matches i'm not, obviously not gonna work out in it but it's just something to keep over my shoulders until I get there because it's cold outside and Adam has a game tonight and so he doesn't have work in the morning on a Wednesday shock so he's coming with me to the gym because he's been doing two a days like literally he'll go to work he works out at work and then in the afternoon he'll go to the gym and work out again that's an athlete that's a professional athlete if you ask me like dedication is for real so he's coming with me since he has a game today he's not gonna work out he's just gonna stretch but he's gonna come with me so i can do my workout while he's there with me and just have some like motivation or support with me not that i need it i'd go anyways but it'll be nice to have my man with me at the gym i'm hoping we can go get a workout in and then maybe get like some coffee or hot chocolate after for a little bit before I have to pick up curl from school should I bring my book to read no, why are you laughing out. at me y'all he laughs at the fact that when I'm doing my cardio on the Stairmaster I read a book while I do it and he was, he, bro, you were like an investigator or interrogator. I mean, he was like interrogating me. He's like, how do you do that when you're literally going up and down? I'm like, oh, yeah, I just go up and down the stairs. So I'm still reading. He's like, it's dark in there. I said, I bring a light. <laughs> like, I do. He's like, aren't people staring at you? They are. Like, like this is my little light. I connect it to the book. And then I face it down like this. So it lights up the book. And then I'm reading as I do the cardio. Because I'm on there for 20 minutes, bro. You could get a lot done, like a lot read in 20 minutes. We're done with our workout. Like I said, Adam didn't really work out. He just stretched. And of course this man decides to stretch in front of all the machines when there's literally an area that you're like supposed to stretch at. He just didn't want to do that apparently. He liked everyone looking at his booty in the air while he was doing his little stretches. But um, yeah, I did all my workouts and then Adam showed me how to do the ones I didn't know how to do yet. Cause I, I don't know if I told y'all, but I started a new workout plan with Micah. I think I did tell y'all. And so, um, Where's that old lady staring? She's staring at for Y'all, people love to stare here at the in this country. Like, they love to stare. And I'm the type, I'm gonna stare right back at you. Like, what's your problem? What are you looking at? We're going to the grocery store to get some food. And I'm gonna make some breakfast when we get back home. Cause I haven't had anything but a banana. And we need to pick up crew soon. 30 minutes, pick up crew. <sighs> So 
Perhaps her mother gave me a call and she was like, um, we hear Cruz been drinking a lot of your magic waters. So we gave him his own little batch this time. So we got Cruz has magic waters. And we had to make it get some Captain Marvel powers. Uh -huh. What do you think about that, crew? Yeah, that's so cool. Can I have some of your superhero water? Because I always share mine with you. I'm so jealous that you got a special package from Captain Marvel for superhero water. Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday. I dropped crew off at school this morning and then I came home and I've been watching Judge Judy. I think we're gonna go downstairs and have a little bit of food before I go hit the gym real quick. I'm really dreading my gym session today like I really want to just like skip out on it but I know if I skip out on it I'll feel even worse like later tonight like oh I wish I would have gone and Adam's leaving today he has a travel day with his team so he's gonna be leaving like in the afternoon so therefore if I decide to skip out it skip out on it this morning I won't be able to go at night because I'll have crew so I really need to push myself to go to the gym but I think I want to eat first and then go because I'm starving. As y'all know, I had a miscarriage. I have to take a pregnancy test today over, not over the phone, but like I have to take it and then the doctor is gonna call me to verify the results of it. Like obviously I'll see the results, but I have to let them know what the results are in hopes that everything like passed through my system. Sounds weird to say in hopes that I'm not pregnant anymore, but if I still am pregnant, that would mean that there's something wrong and I'd have to go in and possibly get a surgery done or something like that I don't know so uh the best news would be that it's a negative result which again sounds so weird to say but yeah so that's going on today as well anything else we need milk <laughs> I didn't ask for a grocery list <laughs> we need milk we do need milk oh I just got a package from Amazon and it is A new outfit for you guys I got a new outfit for you guys ordered this on Amazon um, on my old camera my Canon I had like a little white case on it and then that one got really dirty so then I got a black one so with this camera I almost got a white one again but then I was like eh, no actually that one got so disgusting so I went with black again so y'all are gonna be in all black we're matching today is that cute this needs something on my camera to protect it because I can't tell y'all how many times I've already dropped this camera and I really don't want to break it. So let's get you guys dressed. <laughs> you guys have your new outfit on and I don't know what's going on with my hair you guys. It's like I need to re-straighten the top of it. It's because I went to the gym last night and like sweated out <laughs> my edges but I found a new like thing I need to try out to like be able to keep my edges intact like a little what is it called a little trick so um i'm gonna try it out the next time i go to the gym because i'm not going today <laughs> i decided to skip tomorrow. out i'm going tomorrow tomorrow. tomorrow saturday is supposed to be like my day off tomorrow so, you're gonna say tomorrow no I'm so tomorrow. i decided to go tomorrow night instead because adam won't be back until tomorrow night but we're currently going to the grocery store because we still have not had breakfast and it's 11:49. embarrassing because somebody didn't want to feed me embarrassing and so we're finally going to the grocery store because we need eggs we need milk um and then i'm also gonna get a cake mix because i'm trying to make cake pops i'm gonna see i'm gonna see if i can make cake pops oh that dog is so cute oh would you have one of those no would you rather have that dog than romy no oh good i knew you liked romy i knew you were a fan of him Adam always talking about he's gonna give away Romy and he would never have the heart to do it. I'll probably grab 
some groceries for dinner as well since Adam won't be home and I'm gonna be sad and lonely. Yeah, oh no I won't because the house will be clean. Finally. And nobody will be home to make a mess. Uh, who's not home then? Are you not home? Why are you biting? <laughs> Yo, Adam has gotten into his elevation era. He's in his elevation era. He's keeping the house clean. Is that your car right there? Oh, it looks kind of like your car. Um, he's been keeping the house clean. He's been organizing things, as y'all have seen throughout the week. Like, I'm not the only one cleaning our house anymore, and it feels amazing. Not to say that before I was the only one cleaning only it, because you did help clean. <laughs> no, you did help clean occasionally, but I was the one cleaning it every single day. Now, every single day, we're both cleaning it, and it's really, really nice, so... He has been keeping the house clean, y'all. He's doing better. Much, much, much better, actually. Now, if I leave something around, he's like, um, put that where it needs to go. Aren't you? He's a, he's a little sassy about it, too, y'all. I said, oh, no, I turned my man sassy, because he'd be like, uh, what do, what do you think you're doing? Why are you putting that there? No, take it to where it needs to go. Oh! <laughs> he's a sassy man! Yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Finally, getting finished with the cake pops. I made them earlier and then I was waiting on those, um, the sticks so I could dip them into the chocolate to do the outside of it and they just arrived. So I'm now finishing them up. I'm also about to start dinner, but y'all, it's actually coming together pretty well. Like I didn't know I could make, well, I knew I could make cake pops. Let's just, let's just get this out here. Yeah, I am talented at anything I put my mind to. And that is a mindset that we should all have throughout life if I put my mind to it I can do it and honestly I think that's the whole definition of like practice makes perfect right if I want to do something and I put my mind to it beware <laughs> beware be cautious because I will do it and I will do it good and if I don't do it good the first time I'll do it better the second time until I am good at it so I am not shocked that I could do these cake pops I don't know why I was pretending like I was shocked I honestly need to stop acting shocked when I find out I can do things that I've never tried before because I don't know I think that's just my personality anything I put my mind to I can do so I'm doing these cake pops I'm gonna do them pink and then we're gonna keep some for our family to eat and then I'm giving some to our neighbors because I just want to see if I can make them and then we're not gonna eat all these cake pops but crew is really excited for <laughs> dessert tonight and then also from Amazon <laughs> my luck came i ordered this really cute it's not going to show up colorful right now but it's this really cute pink there we go pink combination lock for the gym because our gym has lockers like open lockers and you just need a lock to lock them but you have to bring your own lock so i got that and then i also <laughs> ordered these silicone letters to try and do chocolate molding letters y'all like i said i'm just really into my creative zone right now so I see things on TikTok and I'm like, I can do that. I can do that. And then I go and buy a bunch of stuff on Amazon and I do it. But that's what's going on. I'm currently drinking another Kim made Alani because I literally was falling asleep in the living room while crew was watching his show. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't fall asleep because I'm the only parent here. Not that I couldn't take a nap, y'all, but it's that usually when I take a nap, Adam is with crew and he's like doing something with crew, like going to the park or something or going on a walk. So we're gonna go on a walk as soon as we're done with eating dinner, but that meant I needed to start on dinner right now versus falling asleep for the next two, three hours and then waking up and it being like eight o'clock and crew's like, what the heck, mommy? You know what I mean? So Alani to save the day. Imagine that. I skipped the gym, but I still needed my energy drink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The first one is dripping, so I think my chocolate needs to cool down a little bit. I don't want to wipe it. Um, and the shape is a little not round. <laughs> oh my goodness. The second one came out a little bit better. It looks like they're touching, but they're not. But that one came out a little bit, a little bit better. I feel like once you put a design on it, you can't really tell, right? 
That one's also not dripping, so I think this chocolate is good to go now. Oh my goodness, they're not perfect circles. I need to ask Alexis on advice on this because what's going on here? What did I do wrong? Why are they not perfect circles? No, like, I thought, I don't know, I know like, the dough was like a little bumpy, but I didn't know what to show like this bumpy under the top. How do you make them perfectly circle? Like this was like all right. I feel like it should be still be more brown, but I'm so confused. Oh no, the first one is cracking. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to show you guys. This one is cracking. Uh, yeah, no, these are all like super bumpy. This is harder than it looks, for sure. This is the one I was talking about that I said is cracking. <laughs> I'm gonna let Crew try it and let me know what he thinks about them. Like the flavor, at least. Mommy, have it. What do you say? Thank you. Mm. What does it taste like? Strawberry. Strawberry? Okay. I won't try to eat it. Romy, come here. Good morning. I don't think I spoke this morning, so good morning, everyone. We are back home now from, let me set y'all up, from going to the cafe this morning. By the way, my bed is not made <laughs> because I'm washing my sheets right now, but we went to a not a cafe a coffee shop this morning so i could get some work done but what's really cool is the coffee shop we went to has like a play area for kids so crew was able to like play and uh, hang out with other kids and play with toys while i was editing my vlog this one actually um but yeah today is saturday it is actually a game day which y'all know adam left yesterday to the game and the game is starting in two hours from now really losing anyways aside from that i am about to go put on some makeup and film a video for you guys and then i'm gonna put crew down for a nap as well we had so much fun at that um coffee shop i'm definitely gonna go back i don't know how often we'll go probably not that often but just when we need something to do like for just bored or cruise you know got a lot of energy just take him there and then that way like i was literally able to get work done and let him play and it was like a cool little way to get out of the house so i really liked that it's on delivery not adam it's adam yay it's not adam it's my amazon delivery makeup is done for once this week of course it's the end of the week but i got two amazon packages oh y'all i wanted a new belly button ring because the one i currently have i think it's from claire's it's silver and i wanted gold and then i also wanted to try a new shape so i got this like well let me open it I think it's called a belly bar, not a belly ring. This is a better look at it. That's cute, that's different. I ordered a bunch of sunglasses last night. I know I have more packages coming because there's only one in here. But let's see which ones these are. The ones I have right now, just like, I don't know. I wanted like everyday sunglasses, like ones I could put on if I have a hoodie on or ones I could wear if I go to like the park with crew and adam in the daytime but mainly i just wanted glasses that looked good at night as well or like in the morning when i don't have makeup on i just want to throw on some shades you know so i found these ones oh 
Oh, these are fire. These. Yeah, you can't talk to me. You cannot talk to me. If I have these on, you cannot talk to me. These are cute. Now, my only concern is I don't know if these are really giving like I can wear them at any time of the day. Do you know what I mean? Like it's kind of making me look more like like I put more effort into myself than the effortless look, you know what I mean? I'd have to I'd have to test these with no makeup on. Maybe it's because I have makeup and like jewelry on that's making me feel this way. But the style, cute. I'll link these below though if you're interested. I need some sunglasses that I can just put on if I don't want to like talk to no one, you know? I want that look. I want the look of like, don't talk to me. I just woke up and haven't had my coffee yet. Those sunglasses. So if you have any recommendations, please comment them. But these are really cute. Look how cute they look on top of my head as well. Let me try the like the actual on my head look. Let's see how they look. Oh, that's cute. I can rock with these. By the way, update. I haven't filmed my video yet. I need to go sit down and film it, but crew's being really loud as you can hear. But also, Adam was not playing in today's game, even though he traveled yesterday. Adam's not playing and neither is the rest of the team. <laughs> The game got canceled. Like Adam wasn't gonna play whether the game was on or off. Like he got told the team sheet and he wasn't on it to play. But yeah, the game got canceled because apparently the pitch is too bad to play on. So nobody's playing. So they all traveled for no reason. Anyways, he's on his way home now, so. Are you okay? I love football. That's okay. How are you doing? Good. Ah. And I see you said you go to go back like tomorrow when I go to bed. I uh, know, it's just a little surprise. Yeah, Dad. How you doing, man? Miss you. I miss you too, man. It's not that cold. What have you been doing? Yeah. I'm cold. I like it cold. I'm <laughs> cold in my boy. Is not it? hot. Is it? Yeah. Like mommy. You're in the right country for it, then. <laughs> Did you miss him? Yes. I have to put this on. Put, put it on. Put it on. <laughs> no. Why has he got no top of it? Because mommy took my clothes oh, off. Because no. <laughs> really? you were taking a nap. So you uh, didn't you sweat. Had a nap. Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Big baby, huh? Ah, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> this hug's really tight. Okay. It's a big hug, huh? Miss you. I miss you too, man. And you, you will take it so long. I oh, know. Why are you hugging him so tight? Because I love him. <laughs> I love you, man. Give you a wall hug. Okay, you want to get so warm. A wall hug. I need to give mommy a hug. What a hug. I wish that was you, huh? <laughs> Adam, say hi to Romy. I know. I seen Romy outside. How? As soon as I got here. Do I let him out? You let him out? Mm -hmm. He was just chilling outside. I'm literally, oh my gosh, this light is so bright. There we go. I'm literally about to film. Okay, now I turned it down too low. I'm about to film a video, which is why my hair is all clipped up and stuff and I'm in this little setting, but I got another package and it's the rest of my sunglasses and I did want to show y'all which ones I picked out so y'all can help me figure out if I'm getting the vibe I'm trying to go for. The lenses are blue. I'm not a big fan of blue lenses i know it's something to do with like the sun like i think it helps block out the sun or something of the uv rays or i don't know but i'm not a fan of like oh it looks black on camera but it's actually blue I'm not a big fan of like black i mean blue lenses like right now i'm looking out of them and everything's blue <laughs> not blue blue but it's like a blue tint if that makes sense and i honestly think it's just the smallest difference that these ones have these silver buttons on the side and i don't know hold on i need to compare because these were the first pair. Are they the same? Are they the same, guys? <laughs> Am I tripping? There's like a cable in front of y'all, so I keep bending my head down, but... Am I tripping? No, they're different, right? Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let me know what y'all think. 
but yeah they are like blue tinted i don't know how to show y'all oh there y'all you see it's like a blue tint okay which i feel like i don't know if i would really like that i like that when i look straight on it looks black but it's definitely blue tinted okay and then lastly i just bought myself some glasses to like be on my laptop with because i do edit a lot and then like scroll on my phone a lot so these are just I think they're supposed to be like Blu-ray something. I don't know. I just know they're good for like when you're on your electronics for a long time. And I wanted some clear glasses. They look like this. Oh, these are cute. Okay, hold on. Okay, I like that. I look nerdy. I look so nerdy. Actually, I kind of like... Adam's gonna love this. I look like a little teacher. I'm not sure if it's giving teacher or like nerdy schoolgirl. But these are cute. Imagine me reading my book later and I in bed all cozy in my matching pajamas with the candle lit and my, uh, what's it called? What is the thing called? My diffuser going off and I'm just like, <laughs> and a little bit of tea. <laughs> a little bit of tea. <laughs> Pinkies. <laughs> I made myself laugh, but y'all, seriously though, aren't these so cute? Okay, let me stop being conceited. <laughs> That was a little glasses haul. Again, everything will be linked down below. Let me go film my video now. I just finished filming. I'm gonna go downstairs to get Adam's reaction to the new glasses. It's so quiet in here. Oh, sorry. Stepped on your toe. Sorry. You look good. But you already know you look good. That's all you have to say. Okay, wait, but what's better? These ones? Or. One second, one second. I'm talking about my feet. Those ones or these ones? Mm -hmm. They're the same. Right? That's what I said. They look the same one. No, they're different. Okay. These ones or these ones. That one's for day, that one's for afternoon. <laughs> okay, wait, close your eyes again. Those ones. Close your eyes. Or hold on, I'm just putting them on. These ones. <laughs> Ross. <laughs> Do you like them? You look bad smart. <laughs> Why are you looking like Why that? Why are you recording me? Why are you looking like that? Record yourself. Why are you huh? looking like that? Okay. No, your teacher. I knew it. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> I told y'all he would like these ones. <laughs> Ah, You're a mess. <laughs> Adam and crew just got back from the movies. What was the movie called, babe? Uh, migration. Or yeah, migration. migration. And Adam said it was really funny. <laughs> said he was in there laughing, not him laughing at the little kids' movie. But that's cute. Whatever. Crew said he really liked it, right, Crazy? He's eating a cake pop right now. What? You don't want to be on camera? Hi guys, it is a bed of mommy will give us to me talk to you guys. So mommy will so I will want to talk to you this time. Mommy people call my dad talk to you. Bye. They don't want to talk to you anyways. Um anywho, back onto more <laughs> relevant topics. He rude, huh? So rude. Anyways, I just finished filming, like I told y'all. I'm going to go take off all this makeup. I've had it on all day, so I'm excited to take it off. And then I'm going to throw on my my gym clothes and hit the gym, because I haven't been. <laughs> I didn't go yesterday, so I need to go today. Huh, babe? Yep. I want the day off before mommy comes back for the day off. Nice yeah. try. <laughs> That's a no. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, go for one minute. No. Oh, this mommy's rude. Oh, this mommy's so rude. 
He said he wants to stay up until I get back from the gym. He knows what he's doing, y'all. He's too smart. But yeah, I'm gonna go and get right, ready. Uh, the music is gonna get me copyrighted, but I just finished my workout. My arms are fucking sore because it was arm day today. But on the bright side, I got my reading done for the day with my magic light because I told y'all it's dark in this gym. <laughs> but I brought my light, got my reading done, and then um, I did abs as well. Hey y'all, it's Sunday and we just got back from church and we're having lunch. Adam made me a sandwich that I'm currently eating and then I had some hot Cheetos. But I just realized that I did not end the vlog yesterday. I also realized I forgot to tell you guys the results of um, the pregnancy test when I had to call the doctor. It was negative so it is finalized that I'm no longer pregnant and I think it was like some good closure to have because I think if I found out I was still pregnant, I would have had even more heartache for the fact that I have to go have surgery. And just to know like it wasn't really like over with, it wasn't closed. But now I had my closure, I'm fine y'all. Um, that was if anything good news rather than having even worse news, you know what I mean? So that was that, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. I did end up filming the um, Elevation Era video last night so that will be going up sometime this upcoming week so stay tuned but until then i will see y'all later i hope you have a wonderful day i love you guys and i'll talk to you later bye